Hey, what's up guys? It's your pal Ben here. And uh, believe it or not, we are finally heading into spring riding season here. Um, feels good. We finally have a beautiful blue sky out. It's a it's a nice green grass, warm kind of day. It's starting to, the temps are starting to rise a little bit. So I thought uh, with all the people, you know, learning how to ride, uh, we are near uh, one of the safety courses where we're, where our dealership is here in Hagerstown. Um, so we get a lot of beginner riders that are getting ready to take the safety course. Uh, just stopping in asking, hey, what's a good beginner level oriented uh, type bike. So I thought we got a decent day here. I'm going to grab one of my favorites. This is a 2022 Kawasaki Ninja 400 right behind me. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look here and just get into some of the facts uh, and get to know the bike a little bit. Okay guys, so as I had mentioned, this is in fact a 2022 Kawasaki Ninja 400. Uh, this bike is coming at you in one of the kind of the gray metallic color schemes i don't remember uh what fancy name kawasaki gives this color but it's a it's a gray metallic um they have this color available they have a matte blue and a gray metallic two-tone color available for this bike uh and they also of course have the krt edition which of course comes uh available in the uh kawasaki racing team colors which are green black and like the red stripes and stuff like that so there's some pretty cool color options available right now so why is the Ninja 400 one of my favorite beginner-oriented motorcycles? Well, um, we all have to start somewhere. Um, some of us, you know, I know people that uh, think, hey, you know, what better option is there than just get right into an R6 or a brand new Ninja 636 or a CBR 1000, stuff like that, to each their own. Um, I'm not going to tell you otherwise, you know, I will say, you know, if you're, if you're a new rider, it's a better idea uh, to get your feet wet and start something uh, on the smaller end. You know, like I say, get your feet wet, get adapted to riding, find out what your niche is. You know, uh, do you like sport bikes? Do you like cruisers? Um, but as far as like the sport oriented type stuff, the Ninja 400 is one of my favorites because it's a great learner centered bike without going too small you still get obviously the lines you get the seat uh, seating position you get the cool lines you get the cool aesthetic of a sport bike um without getting into like a 250 cc or 300 cc kawasaki did away with the 250s and the 300s and uh you know we kind of pinned that you know the ninja 400 as well as the ninja 650 is kind of that great happy medium i know people that have uh gone down from a larger bike to a ninja 400 you know they just got sick of riding their 600s and you know it's just hey this is a number one it's either too expensive or this is too much power for me and and kind of backtracked a little bit and going to a ninja 400 um and then i also know people that have put you know a good friend of mine has had his ninja 400 since 2018 and has like 20 odd thousand miles on that bike um he, he loves it uh, I think obviously the last time I talked to him, he is looking to upgrade because he's had it since 2018, bought it brand new from me. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think the Ninja 400 is a great bike uh, to learn on. It's enough horsepower, obviously horsepower and, you know, is this too much power for me? That is definitely a concern. I can tell you this is not an abundance of power. This is nothing that's going to throw you off the back of the seat of the bike. This is nothing that's going to scare you. Um, that, like I say, the Ninja 400 is a great kind of happy medium uh, without getting into something super duper fast that you're going to get bored with really quick. Uh, and it's it's also not something that you're going to get scared of. Uh, you know, um, like I say, this is a great bike to just kind of get your feet wet and get adapted to riding. Um, so let's take a little bit closer look and uh, get to know the Ninja a little bit. So Kawasaki did a great job with these bikes. Everything's very simple. Um, obviously, as many of you probably know, if you've taken the safety course, there's not a whole lot of crazy stuff up here. You don't see like traction control and wheelie modes and all that kind of crazy stuff. This should be all very similar to what you learned in the safety course. So obviously you have your key right up here front and center. I'm gonna tune the key on. This is a fuel injected bike, which is great. The nice thing about a fuel injected brand new bike like this, it's as simple as turning the key on, kill switch on and as long as you're neutral with the side stand down you can hit the start button and fire away just like that so a couple of the other things obviously you have your kill switch start button your throttles right here front brake okay on your left hand side it's as easy as you have your clutch you have your low beam and high beam switch you have your turn signals left and right and on these you're going to press in to cancel they're not self canceling so you're going to press in to cancel and then your horns right there the other nice thing too about these is you can actually lock the steering. So if you turn your your uh, uh, forks the whole way to the left, press in on your key, turn it the whole way, you can actually lock your steering. So that's pretty cool. Just some added security, which is really nice. 
Your key also operates your gas cap. So if we scoot back here, you can see, and this is really nice. I'm kind of jealous because my bike, I have to take the whole cap off every single time. Uh, this, it's actually hinged, so you don't have to worry about setting your cap uh, on, you know, on the ground or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. If you turn the key on, everything up here front and center is very simple, as I mentioned before. Over here, you have your indicator lights, so if there's ever any kind of issues with the bike, it's going to let you know over here. Um, now, I'm sitting still with the engine off, so it's okay that that, is, that light is on right now. That's fine. Same thing down here. This is just an FI light letting me know that, hey, the bike did its little systems check. Uh, everything's good to go. Uh, matter of fact, if I were to start the bike up right now, this light and this light would actually go away. But that aside, uh, obviously you have your indicator lights, so it's going to let me know that I'm in neutral. Um, if I had the bike on, you would also see a high beam uh, light showing up right there on the display. You have your tachometer. So this is your engine speed is what that is, your RPMs. And then your actual road speed shows up here on the right hand side. And then on the bottom of the display, Kawasaki actually gives you the option to scroll through uh, your, your average miles per gallon, range until uh, your tank is empty, that kind of thing. So it's pretty neat. So obviously you have three different types of uh, motorcycle drive. You have a chain drive, a shaft drive, belt drive. Okay, this is a chain driven bike, uh, which means at some point, you know, every so often it's gonna have, it's gonna need a little bit of adjustment, which is fine. It's just general maintenance, preventative maintenance type thing. Uh, not a huge issue. Your dealership can take care of that. If you're not familiar, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the other thing that's really nice on this uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, so this little cuff right here, that silver cuff is on your mono shock. That actually allows you, so we can see this is actually set on the softest. Uh, let's see. Try and focus in there. This is set on the softest, uh, one of the soft, almost the softest setting on your uh, suspension setting. So this is your preload. Uh, what that's going to allow you to do is if uh, if you're a heavier rider or if you're carrying a passenger, if you're loading it down with any kind of luggage or anything like that, you can actually stiffen up the preload on the shock uh, to accommodate uh, a little bit more weight on the bike. Something else that I think is kind of noteworthy, uh, you have a spot here that's actually going to allow you to take the rear passenger seat off this right here. And it just has a little bit of storage in there if you want to, you know, keep your registration, um, your insurance information, stuff of that nature. Now, as far as maintenance goes, um, if you're wanting to check your oil frequently, which is good, uh, you do have a sight glass down here on the bottom right hand side. So you can see the oil's right there in the center where it's supposed to be. Of course, I did just run the bike, so uh, it's not quite up to the top of the line, which is fine. As long as it's right between those lines, that's good. And then uh, you also have a dipstick right there. Not dipstick, but your, uh, your oil fill cap is what that is. So that's pretty neat. So hopefully this video is helpful for some of you uh, looking to start out on uh, your first bike. Uh, in my opinion, this is truly one of the best bikes I think you can start out on. Um, so if you were to come in and ask Ben, is the Ninja 400 a great starter bike? Um, I'm going to say yes, absolutely. Um, again, it's it's a great bike. It's a great happy medium without going to a 250 or a 300 cc and getting super bored with it in a month or two. And then you're coming back to wanting to trade it in, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but obviously we want you to make financial sound decisions uh, and a decision of, with something that you're going to be happy with for, for many miles to come. Um, you know, they do have the option to jump up to a Ninja 650, which is really cool. Um, you know, as far as personal preference, it really does. It's all relative. It usually does come down to the rider. You know, if uh, if you see yourself getting adapted to the to the riding experience right off the bat pretty quickly, it might be a good idea to entertain the Ninja 650. But if you know that you're going to be uh, uncomfortable at first, uh, and you know you know you're going to be riding the 400 for quite some time, it's, it's a great bike. It's learner centered. It's confidence boosting. It's easy to operate. It's easy to understand, and it's easy to ride, and it's a fun, fun bike to ride. It's a blast. So uh, as always, guys, if you have any questions, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, but leave your questions in the comment section below. Reach out to your buddy, Ben, and ask away. I'm here to help. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.